Ladies and gentle steppers, welcome to the long-awaited video. And you know what? I'm pretty sure you could tell what it's about considering that right there. But let's get straight to the point. Is Simple MMO dead? And there are a lot of people who are ranting or talking about it in all of our YouTube comments, in our community notes, in Discord, in our live streams. And, you know, you got your doom and gloom folks who are like, oh, MMO, idle MMO has gotten updates, but not simple MMO. It's over. It's game is dead. You got your smart analytical folks like Rogarth who did an excellent breakdown. And then you have the angry people who are not, who shouldn't be part of this community, period. Like, let's just be very honest. If you're angry about a game, go touch some grass. All right. Just stop with the nonsense. Go touch some grass. You're part of the problem. But enough about that. I personally got a little bit tired of hearing all of this uh, doom and gloom about Simple Mo being dead. So we reached out as Couch Cat with a partnership with Galahad Creative. We reached out and asked some questions about the game to figure out is Simple Mo dead or not. And I actually enjoyed the feedback that we received from Mike. And I do want to be very clear. Mike did make a statement that this is Mike's point of view and not a general statement of the company. Like I could have a different point of view but then Couch Cat, right? I can say, in my personal opinion, I believe this, but it's different from Couch Cat, the company, and what we believe as an entity. I just want to make that very clear. This is Mike's point of view and his answers, not a general statement from Galahad Creative. He did say that at the top, and I do appreciate him being very clear in that aspect. So without further ado, let's get straight to the point and look at the first question that we asked him and the response that they gave us. All right, so you can go ahead and see it on the other side of the tombstone there. Uh, but basically, our question was, lately, there's been heavy sentiment that Simple MMO is dead, in quotes, due to the updates that Idle MMO is getting, which I just, you know, talked about. Getting straight to the point, is Simple MMO considered dead by Galahad Creative? And Mike responded, no, Simple MMO is not considered dead by us. If it were, you would know about it. And that basically, to the point, there it is. Simple MMO is not dead. We do not have to rant and rave anymore, folks. We have further information, though, in the next couple of uh, questions that we, we asked them. And I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, so let's get on to the second question, then, right now. All right, so the second question has to deal with all these server maintenance uh, announcements that are made in the Discord. To And it, I feel like it happens a lot. And normally, they are then followed by boosts. So I'll go ahead and read the the question and then hop into mike's answer it's a little wordy so bear with me but i think you'll enjoy it so let's get right into it it says when we see a, a notification in the official simple mode discord that server maintenance is being conducted does that mean that galahad creative is pushing an update for the game's back end because we've been talking a lot about back end updates and that's why you're not seeing a lot of features or uh, you know changes to features on the front end of things and mike has responded yes most of the time it's either back end changes or maintenance on the server itself for instance the software that runs our database has recently recently ended excuse me recently reached end of life so we'll have to spend a significant amount of our resources migrating it to the next major version because the game has almost seven years worth of data, this is by no means an easy or a quick task. This is a lot of work for us to take on, especially when players don't see any noticeable difference. So there's the answer for you. And here's what I think about this, right? So there is a lack of communication between Galahad Creative and their player base when it comes to simple MMO. For numerous reasons, which we'll cover a little bit later on within the... Uh, within question four or so but it, it shows now we know and that to expect some type of back-end update to the game if you quote unquote update right whenever there's server maintenance occurring so whenever you see an announcement like that that means mike is actively doing something in relation to the game so just take that as you will, right? That way, because a lot of people are like, we have no idea what's happening. Is he even touching the game? Is he even, you know, doing any updates to it? All we hear is back and update this, back and update that, but we have nothing to show for it. Well, at the very least now, we know that whenever there is a server maintenance announcement with a very nice followed on boost, I should say, it, it is them doing work and not actually just trying to maintain something, but to update something as well. 
to include what really sucks in my opinion their database feed end of life that sucks for security reasons for all like oh man not fun at all i wish them the best of luck doing the moving to the next migrating to the next upgrade uh i couldn't imagine having to deal with that with seven years of data <laughs> good luck mike uh you're gonna need it because that oof. so there you have it they whenever we see those updates whenever we see those announcements just know that mike is working hard to bring the game to a place where it is secure in its code base it, it reads and writes well in the code so that other devs could come in, like maybe Yomu potentially in the future, who knows, or anyone else that may need to be hired on if they desire to hire on. I don't know. Um, and then just being able to be optimized to be able to handle, you know, player load and, and you know, as fast as possible. All right. So let's move over to the third question now, which is, pretty interesting in my opinion okay so this third question is also a little wordy but don't worry this is good that means we're getting a back and forth response uh it's better than like one or two word answers right so really appreciate that the reason why i asked this question is i was trying to drive to a point where we could see we could quantify the work done on simple mo for the year because normally we do that by counting up how many patch notes are being released and we don't really get many of those. There's like one or two this year. Uh, so I was just trying to quantify the amount of work that Mike and Galahad Creative were doing in support of Simple MMO. So let's just hop into the question. I'll, I'll read the answer and then we'll I'll talk about what I what I think this answer means and, and how I feel about it. But I, I, I asked, can you share some metrics for how much Galahad Creative has worked on Simple MMO since the beginning of 2024? Think how many commits were created for Git uh, to GitHub, how many backend updates, etc. Like something like that, you know, quantitative in in nature. Mike responded, "We can't give you any metrics that really provides value because they can be pretty misleading without a lot of context." I could tell you that Simple Mo had fifteen hundred commits in the past year, but that doesn't really explain anything. A single commit could be as small as fixing a typo or as big as a major update. Plus. How we approach development can really change those numbers. For example, SimpleMMO has about 5,500 commits after almost seven years, while IdleMMO has 7,462 commits in just over a year. That doesn't mean IdleMMO is bigger, of course not. It just means our way of developing and tracking changes has evolved. Honestly, there aren't any metrics I can give you that are really meaningful, especially in the last couple of months, where most of work has been system related and isn't even track so i can appreciate this type of answer one he did kind of give us metrics right 1500 commits in the past year which is insane but he does make a very valid argument here or or point excuse me i shouldn't say argument makes a very valid point here even though it's quantitative it doesn't really talk about the quality of the updates that are being done for simple mmo and i can appreciate that because it makes a lot more sense to be able to describe the quality that is being done. And maybe that's a question we should have asked or follow up with. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. But yeah, he makes a good point. Just because we've done a lot of work doesn't necessarily mean that it's quality, quality work. But not to say like a type, fixing a typo isn't quality work, right? So um, I could appreciate it. Kind of answered it with that 1500. But at the same point, he, he makes a very valid point of that you know, there's not a, like a metric requires context to it in order for it to be fully understood for the, for the community. And so I could get that. I, I'm, I fully support that. Uh, it's a fair answer. Um, you know, and I, I can't fault them for that answer. So I, we'll work on our questions. That's what I've learned from that is we need to work on our questions to be better, to provide uh, an opportunity for them to give, you know, you even, detail even more detailed answers if you will all right now the fourth one is a big boy it, uh, the fourth question is a juicy one and uh and Pison, Pison did a really good job of asking this question so shout out to him uh let's let's just get into it so again bear with me on this one thick boy right here Pison states and asks i believe the game is in a completed stable state does Galahad Creative believe there's room for additional features in the game besides reworking older ones? And so here's Mike's response now. 
Is there room for more features? Absolutely. It would be crazy to say there isn't. But does it really need them? Well, that's a different story. I'm with you on this. SimpleMO is mature and stable with enough content to keep itself going. It's been in development since 2017, so of course things are bound to slow down a bit. Especially as we grow and rethink our approach to development. When I first created SimpleMO, I was fresh out of university and eager to try out the latest frameworks. Honestly, it was never supposed to go public. Because of that, a lot of the code that's now considered the foundation is pretty rotten. Talk about tech debt right there. Maybe even beyond the worth of repair at this point. That's an interesting one. Does that mean the game is dead? No, definitely not. We've got a goal we're working towards, and hopefully we'll be able to share that with everyone soon. Now that's interesting. The development of new features is slow and will probably stay that way for a while for several reasons. Several reasons. Like keeping the game up to date with system and package updates, ensuring security, don't want another Titan Conquest, right? And shifting how we approach development. Plus, we have other projects to focus on. I don't know. I've seen some people take this as an excuse or just a sign that I lack the ability to move the game forward. Well, since my mind is as sharp as a marble and as smooth as my arse, I won't comment on what I can't or can't do. But could we sacrifice some of these things to push out new features? Sure, we could. But that would go against everything we believe in. We pride ourselves on making software that's streamlined, polished, and robust. Something we hope is clear with IDLMMO, which, in my opinion, it is, right? Even if it means not having thousands of features. This is a philosophy that's really come into its own over the past few years. Asking us to compromise on what we feel makes us unique is like asking someone to abandon their own core values for the sake of convenience. Just like an artist wouldn't wor rush their work of art at the cost of quality, we believe in maintaining the integrity of our design principles to deliver an, uh, an excuse me, deliver a polished product, even if it means some features don't make the cut. Unfortunately, Simple MO is the antithesis, antithesis on this design philosophy. So I hope you can understand the awkward spot I find myself in. It also definitely doesn't help that sometimes I'm labeled as a spawn of Satan just because Simple MO isn't getting as many updates or new updates these days. I try not to let stuff like that get to me too much, but yeah, it's not exactly encouraging. Ultimately, Simple MO is not dead. Development is slow, and it's probably going to stay that way for a while, but we do have a goal in mind. When the time is right, we'll share that with everyone. I can't give you a timeline. This could be a few months, or it could be a few years. Things are always changing, and I've learned not to lock ourselves into timelines that could end up doing more harm than good. And that that's the answer. That's the answer right there. There's a few things I want to pull out of this, right? One. Mike gave a super in-depth answer, so I really appreciate that. Shout out to Pison for asking such a great question. Fortunately, we couldn't be here for the recording, but that's all right. I got his, his answer here as well, which we'll cover in a second. First and foremost, if you are calling Mike the spawn of Satan because a game's not getting updates or new features as fast or as, you know, as much as you want, like I said in the beginning of this video, go touch some grass, dude. What the frick is your problem? Like, the world is okay. It's not going to end because Simple MO doesn't get an update in a year, in two years, in a few months, whatever it may be, whatever the, the cycle is, right? The schedule is. You don't belong in the community if this is how it's going to be. I, I don't understand people like that who, like, their life is, like, sucked in and their soul is like, oh my god, Simple MO! MO! Calm down, little man. Calm down. Go touch some grass. Get a sip of water. You need to stay hydrated out there. Maybe read a book. Stop stepping for a little bit. Enjoy life. And it's going to be okay. <laughs> Alright, enough of that rant. Let's, I, I do want to talk about this. Um, a couple of things, right? So they are working on other projects. I, I, it's interesting that he says projects, and I'll scroll up to it, right? Yeah, projects. Talking about other projects to focus on. So Simple MO. Excuse me, Simple MO. Idle MO is a project that they have. 
I don't know what other projects they're working on, but that is interesting. I'm pretty sure the Bug Tracker one uh, was canceled. I could be wrong. I thought there was something. Maybe I'm dreaming or hallucinating. Who knows? But a couple biggest thing, biggest thing here, they've got a goal in mind for the game. They've got a goal in mind for the game. And I can't wait to figure out what it is. I have no idea. I want to know what the game is. I want to know what the, that goal is. I'm so curious what it could be. Um, I don't know. Leave a comment down below what you think the goal might be. Because I clearly don't. Like, I, I, a new update? Like, what? Uh, simple MO2? I don't know. I, who the hell knows? Uh, let me know what you think. I'd be very interested to see what you guys think the the secret goal or this you know the goal that they have in mind i want to call it secret i guess but they have a goal in mind hopefully you know it's not a few years i would love to see it be a few months but i can understand taking time getting it right the first time you know something here at couch cat we don't do very well talking about that jank core aesthetic if you know what i mean um but let's hop into Pison's response because I do want to give him his time to shine as well. <laughs> give me so let's do let's talk about Pison's response. All right, so this is Pison again. Pison's response. He says, "I appreciate Mike's mega response to my question. I understand his concerns with skipping corners versus maintaining a quality product. However, should an indefinite amount of time be spent on fixing seven years worth of code? There is a core player base in Simple MMO." That can't be argued, but will this player base survive potential years of back-end updates and nothing else? I wonder how viable a project like Simple MMO 2 would be versus waiting potential years for things to get better in Simple MMO. The game has matured, and I don't expect wild changes or new mechanics to take place. Simple MMO has a wildly successful pass for the type of game that it is, but it's generally the AAA MMO RPGs that survive years of stagnant stability. The Retromania event proved that events, a core seasonal aspect of Simple MMO, can be different and new. But that won't be enough, in my opinion. XO, XO, Pison. So Pison makes a few good and in or interesting uh, statements here. Mike did state that the foundation for Simple MMO is rotten. It's got a lot of tech debt, unfortunately, that he's got to work through. Is it worth maintaining? Is it worth saving? You know, could there be a simple MO2? I don't think so, because that would probably take years as well to get right, right? Like, you can't just, like, you know, poof, simple MO2, waha, right? Like, that's that's a lot of work to do uh, to build a game. Um, granted, he could pull some of the, the, you know, code that he has for simple MO, but then you would also, if you're going to do a simple MO2, like, then the, you're going to want to not only provide what was simple MMO, but additional content on top of it to give it an excuse or a reason to be simple MMO too. Um, I don't know. It's interesting. He does. Python does make an interesting you know statement. Like, will the player base be patient enough based off of how things are going? I don't know. There is a core player base. They're they're still burning through. They're still paying big bucks to play the game as well. Uh, you know, still have those whales in the game. So it's still surviving, right? Like, I, and the people are still playing. I, I will say there are sometimes not as many people as it used to be, but it's not to the point where the game is dead or anything like that. There's there's plenty of games out there that only have like 100 players or less in, in total, like period. Uh, so Simple Mo is doing just great within that PBBG or incremental type game community that uh, it, it should be part of. It is a part of, right? But that's it. That's it. That those are our four questions. Simple, but with very interesting answers. You know, I appreciate Yomu for facilitating working those questions. I thank you to Mike for uh, taking the time because I, I know you're super busy taking the time to answer those questions. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you to Pison as well uh, for the beefy number four question that we had, as well as his response. And I'm, I'm curious, guys, how do you feel now about the future of the game with those questions and answers? I'll leave a comment down below what you feel, how you felt about those answers, uh, as well as are there other questions that you guys may have about the game? Because we may, if there's you know enough questions that are worthwhile, <laughs> sorry, but true, we might reach out and do you know a second session, if you will. So let me know what you guys think. I'm very curious. I'm happy with the answers. I'm happy with everything, all things considered. I don't think there should be doom and gloom. 
And at the worst case, if the game doesn't receive another update, that's fine because it is mature and stable like both Bison and Mike have said. Either way, let me know what you think. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this because I assure you we will be asking Mike and Galahad Creative more questions or you know doing more content with them due to our partnership. So that's it. Till next time.